Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lugnus Monster, and today we do have every single release of Boba Fett in the Black series. We have Empire Strikes Back, Prototype, Carbonized, the Black in Disguise version, Droids Boba, Kenner Boba in the back, Return of the Jedi Boba, Tython Boba, Book of Boba Fett Boba, as well as Jedi Ruins Boba. So we have all 10 variants of Boba Fett in the Black series here right in front of me, and we're gonna be comparing them and ranking them. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So these will be ranked based on five categories, including the packaging, the articulation, the accessories, the accuracy to the media it's from, and Luke Ness' opinion. And then the pretty much the figure with the highest score at the end will win best Boba Fett. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Real quick though, if you are new to the channel, make sure you go down, hit the like button, and subscribe. We're actually doing a February monthly giveaway. We're going to be giving away this Umar Operative Art Trooper. If you have not yet hit that sub button, make sure to go do that, and then all you have to do is comment on the giveaway video. That'll be pinned in the card and linked in the description, but you do have to be subbed in there, so make sure you go do those two things, and on to the video. First category is packaging, and this one's going to be a real quick category. And that's because I didn't even get out all of the packages for this because I already knew which one's going to win. The three most interesting packaging is in the back there. And this one's a no-brainer. Kenner Boba Fett has to win this one. I mean, it's got the holographic shiny card back based off of the original Kenner figure. It's great. It looks, it looks amazing. And this one has to win best packaging, at least in my opinion. But that's what this is. So Kenner Boba will be getting the most points with 10 points, and then we'll just go down the list going from 9 to 8 to 7 to 6. So I'll throw up a photo right now of the tally marks, but uh, I'm not going to go ahead and rank them all right here because it'll take forever. That's what happens when there's 10 figures, so I'm skipping a lot of the, the middle in between stuff, but I'll throw it on screen so you guys can see what each figure got. The next category is articulation, and this one is going to be a little bit tough for what we have, but we can go ahead and eliminate everything to the left of Return of the Jedi Boba. All of those are on the original Empire Strikes Back body, and that body is horrible. Articulation sucks. So, really the only ones in question here are these four. Now, because all of these are the same body, I kind of can't rank them based on articulation, and so they're all going to get the exact same amount of points, just so it's fair. So we're going to be ranking these pretty much... One, three of these will get two, and then one of these will get three points, basically, just so it's fair. But I think Return of the Jedi is going to get the most points with three points out of this round. Uh, I think it has the best articulation. It's very close. All four of these figures here have great articulation, but I think this one, Return of the Jedi, just has slightly better articulation. So he's going to get three points. All three of these guys are going to get two points, and then everyone else is going to get one point. Next category is accessories, and this one is not tough at all. The number one winner has to go to Return of the Jedi Boba. He comes with the flame effects, the grapple hook, extra blasters. This guy comes with everything. No question, he deserves 10 points for accessories. But the other ones are kind of tough. And that's because every other one here, I guess excluding this guy, comes with a blaster, a pistol, and a jetpack. And so that makes it kind of tough. But because of that, this guy also does have the spear. And so since that guy is the spear, he's going to be getting the second place with nine points. I think he's going to get the third place with eight points just because he has that gaffy stick and the rifle. So pretty cool accessories there. Everyone else, though, is pretty close but I think I got to give these two last two just because they're considered deluxe figures but don't come with extra accessories. And so because of that, they have to get the last points just because they cost the most money. But then for the rest of these guys here, I'll give them the same amount of points because they all come with the same amount of accessories. So like I said, it wouldn't really be fair to give some of those more points than others. But here is a tally of all the points going in to the next round. Next up is accuracy to the media that it's from. And now this one is kind of tough because a lot of these are pretty good um this one's gonna be a tough round but again i think i gotta go with return of the jedi boba for the most points on this one that one just looks the best overall good paint apps and it looks a lot like return of the jedi boba so that one for sure gets the most points up after that i gotta give it to 
Oof, I don't know. This is tough. I think second place for this one has got to go to Kenner Boba. That one is very accurate in its paint apps. Even the rocket in the back is painted red to represent the rocket firing Boba Fett. It is, it's got like the red gauntlet on one and the yellow gauntlet on the other. Like the, the paint apps are very accurate on that to what it's based off of, which is that original Kenner Boba. So I think he's going to get second. Droids Boba might get third. He's rather accurate. Book of Boba Fett might get fourth and so on. So I'll go ahead and tally those up and uh, show you after it's all tallied up. Actually, I think I'm going to give Book of Boba Fett a lower score just because they threw him in the Book of Boba Fett packaging when technically he's a Mandalorian character, so that accuracy is wrong. So he'll get a little bit lower. I know he's definitely getting lower too because of the shoulder pads that are inaccurate. So here are those tallies up after that round, and we're going to be moving now into the final round, which is Luke Ness Opinion. This one is a tough one because this is, again, basically all of my opinion, and I love all these guys. I'm a huge Boba Fett fan. Boba Fett is my favorite character in Star Wars, so this is definitely a hard choice, and I think it's definitely coming down between two characters for the number one points, and that's got to be Return of the Jedi Boba and then Kenner Boba. I mean, Kenner Boba is literally the holy grail of all Black series, and so it's hard to not give him the number one spot. I was lucky enough that Hunter, a subscriber, also a member, so Hunter's awesome. I was lucky enough that Hunter actually sent me that figure, so shout out to Hunter. But uh, yeah, these this is really tough, and I think I get to give them both 10 points on this one. I really can't decide, and I make the rules. So they're both getting 10 points on this, and the rest of the figures will be scored accordingly. But I do know some of them are going to get a little bit lower. Like, for example, Tython Boba. I've just had a crappy not tython i guess he's jedi ruins boba i've had a crappy experience with him the jetpack broke right out of the box it took a year the year the pre-order was a year long and um like i love the paint ops on him he's my favorite design for boba but um i just kind of had a crappy experience with that figure you know stuff like that will account into the score but i'll tally that up real quick and give you guys the final results Alrighty, so we just got the final scores all tallied up with a total of 10 Boba Fetts here. It was definitely a tough decision. And that's why this video was a lot quicker because most of it was done in post rather than live. Because if we did breakdowns for every single category on every single figure, this would be a 45 minute video. So I do apologize that I didn't go in super depth with a lot of these decisions, but I think it's for the best because I didn't want to make this a 45 minute video. But Anyway, jumping right into it, coming in at first place with a whopping 38 points, we have Return of the Jedi Boba. I by far think that one is the best. Great price, great accessories, great accuracy to the media. Overall, it's just the best Boba Fett in the line, hands down, no question. Coming in at a second place with only one point behind. This one got 37 points is Kenner Boba. This one I absolutely love. I'm it's it's just a great Boba Fett. The packaging is great. The throwback to the original Kenner colors, it's awesome. And I think this one definitely deserves the second place spot. Third place is surprising to me, but it's actually the War of the Bounty Hunters SDCC Boba, or the All Black Boba. This one surprised me. I didn't think this one would score this high, but it actually got third with 32 points. So that one did great. I do like that figure, though. I think it's a little underrated, but overall, it's pretty good. Coming in at fourth place is... Empire Strikes Back Boba. Now, this one is the classic, the original. Definitely not the best Boba in the line, but I think it stands out and it still holds up uh, today fairly well, and I think it's a cool Boba. Anyway, fifth place got 28 points, and that is Droids Boba. I really like Droids Boba. I wish it could have got higher, but I think it's uh, fifth place, like right in the middle. I think that's pretty fair. Sixth place is actually Tython Tusken Raider Boba. Now, this one is not my favorite outfit, I'm not going to lie, but his accessories hold up and his accuracy to media is pretty good, so I think he deserves the spot he got. Coming in at seventh place is Book of Boba Fett Boba with seven... with... Mm. Coming in in seventh place is Book of Boba Fett Boba with 20 points. This one, again, it's not my favorite character. I think it it's all right, though. It's a good Boba Fett. And um, I think like it, I think it deserves that spot, to be honest. Coming in at eighth place is Carbonized Boba. Now, Carbonized Boba is an interesting figure. I know a lot of people hate on the Carbonized line, but I think for what it is, it's an all right figure. And I think it's definitely one of the better Carbonized figures we have in the line. Coming in at ninth place is Prototype Boba. This one, I'm surprised got so low. I really like Prototype Boba. I think it's a good figure overall. And like, again, I'm surprised it got so low, but it got ninth place with only 17 points. 
And then coming in in last place with 14 points is Jedi Ruins Boba. Now this one mainly has to do with my experience with the figure. I know my Luke Ness opinion, only getting one point on that really hurt this figure. But yeah, I just had a bad experience with it. It's my favorite design for Boba, so I had a lot of high hopes for the figure and it just didn't really come out to what I was hoping. So unfortunately, he got last place with only 14 points. But comment down below what you guys think the best Boba Fett is in the comments down below because I really would like to know. This is just my comparison, obviously it's my opinion, but your guys' could be different, so if you do disagree, again, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.